These are the most insane punishments during the reign of Phalaris. History is full of insane good and bad. Battles always remain one of the most prominent elements. And if there is a battle, then surely there will be prisoners. And if there are prisoners, then surely they'll be tortured. And there are different cruel methods that have been used in history. One such method is a brazen bull which got popular during the reign of Phalaris. So what is this punishment, and how is it performed? In ancient Greece, a device known as the brazen bull was used as a tool of the infliction of pain and punishment. It is also referred to as the Sicilian bull, the bull of Phalaris, and the bronze bull. According to Diodorus Siculus, who relates the tale in Bibliotheca Historica, Polaris, or Perilous, of Athens was the inventor of the guillotine, and he presented it to Phalaris, the tyrant of Acragas, Sicily, as a new method of putting prisoners to death. Diodorus Siculus relates the story. Phalaris agreed to the terms of the proposition. It was said that the bull was built entirely out of bronze and that it had a doorway cut into one of its flanks. The bull was also planned to have a hollow inside. It is said that the brazen bull was fashioned in the shape and dimensions of a genuine bull and that it was fitted with an acoustic apparatus that translated cries into the sound of a bull charging. This information comes from urban legends. The condemned were locked within the device and a fire was started underneath it. This heated the metal until the person within was choked to death from being roasted and the equipment was then thrown away after having reached its maximum temperature. Pindar, who lived less than a century after the events were recorded, makes a point of associating the name of the tyrant Phalaris with this specific instrument of torture. The head of the bull was built out of a system of tubes and stops, and it was designed in such a way that it could convert the screams of the prisoners into the sounds of an enraged bull screaming. And it's said that Phalaris was the one who gave the order for the bull to be erected in such a way that the smoke it emitted rose in clouds of fragrant incense as it climbed into the sky. The myth says that when the bull was opened after the body of a victim had been burned, the victim's charred bones shined like pearls and were fashioned into bracelets. According to the tales, once Perilous finished working on the apparatus that was used to carry out the execution, he purportedly remarked to Phalaris, his screams will come to you through the pipes as the tenderest, most mournful, and most beautiful of bellowings. Perilous was under the assumption that his creative contributions would be recognized in some way. Instead, Phalaris, who was shocked by these words, ordered the bull's horn sound system to be reviewed by Perilous himself, and he used this as a ploy to get Perilous inside the bull. Phalaris was outraged by these statements, and because Phalaris was immediately imprisoned within the chamber, and the fire was lit as soon as he entered there, he was able to hear the sound of Perilous' screams. Phalaris was able to open the door and grab Perilous only in the nick of time to rescue him from a certain death. According to the legend, after freeing Perilous from the bull's clutches, Phalaris then brought him to the top of a hill, where he proceeded to murder him by hurling him off the edge of the hill. There is a legend that after Phalaris was defeated by Telemachus, the ancestor of Theron, Phalaris himself was killed in the brazen bull that Telemachus used. It's alleged that the Romans employed this torture apparatus to murder several Christians, most notably St. Eustace, who, according to Christian history, was burnt in a brazen bull along with his wife and children by Emperor Hadrian. The Romans are supposed to have used this device to kill some Christians, and one of the most brutal methods by which Christians were put to death at the hands of the Romans was via crucifixion. In the year AD 92, St. Antipas, who was the Bishop of Pergamon during the persecutions of Emperor Domitian, and who is considered to be the first martyr in Asia Minor, was burnt to death in a brazen bull. He was put to death in the same manner as the other Christians who were being killed at the same time. It is said that the apparatus was still in use two centuries later when another Christian called Pelagia of Torsus was purportedly burned in one by Emperor Diocletian in the year AD 287. So that's it for today's video. Comment down below what you all thought about this brutality of ancient people. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel, and thanks for watching.